You know, one thing I've learned from COVID is that when you promise to make someone a tart titan, they really don't like it when you don't make it for them. Because I was in a chat room for like four hours. My handle is don't be trifling. Because it's a to trifles a dessert, yeah. Well, I don't know. Kind of tastes like ass. Hey everyone, I'm Claire Saffitz, Dessert Ninja. <laughs> oh, f <laughs> There's a saying, what grows together goes together. Also, um, if it smells like crap, it might be a trap. The varied reactions I get from these desserts, incredible. My mom tried this one and she was like, oh my God, that's really bad. Then she tried this one. And she was like, oh my god, that's not bad. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. The book is called Dessert Person, that's the title, because it's all my favorite desserts. And if you turn to page 47, today we'll be making a savory omelet. You want to use a really great cheese. This is my favorite recipe in the book. Got a fancy schmancy cheese. Uh, this is a cheap cheddar. This is a cheddar cheese. And I'm gonna use a box grater. Oh. Oh. <gasps> Remember that movie about the woman who couldn't find her box grater and then she jumped off the Golden Gate Bridge? No, they haven't made it yet. So I'm gonna use kosher salt, which is salt that has not been convicted of a crime. I'm just gonna cheat and see if I can just see how these cakes are made. You know what I like the most? Cake farts. I think I just really need to try this with less cornstarch. I can't. More energy, Claire. Brack, go f yourself. There's actually a recipe in the book for Hot Pockets. It's my favorite recipe. You just wanna be careful if you're gonna use your Hot Pocket to make a Dutch oven. What I love about cilantro is nothing because it tastes like shit. Here's how you make gourmet Doritos. No, I, can we not, can we just skip to day four already? I'm not, I, I'm gonna go take a bath. Here's how you make gourmet uranium. Here's how you make gourmet polyjuice potion. Here's how you make your mother cry. So now we're going to, this is called dimpling, is if you oil your fingers, you can put like holes in the dough. This is my favorite recipe from the book. <laughs> I was talking to my sister and she said, remember that time that you banished me from my own kitchen? And I was like, yes, because you always bring it up all the time, she's so annoying. Uh, so I have kidnapped her baby. This focaccia is a lot like my stupid sister because I love getting a rise out of it. So I'm gonna let the focaccia rest because it's too oingy boingy right now. So I think I'm gonna go take a nap. Unless we're not doing toppings now, are we? No, don't do them now. Please don't do them. Don't you dare. No, don't you dare. I think I first saw Julia Child make this recipe. When I was about eight, she's very important to me. She's, I have her on the wall over there. She's my patron saint, I love her. She's very important. Her and Richard Simmons. These contain sugar, milk, chocolate, cocoa butter, milk fat, soy lecithin, strychnine, beaver, purple, your mom's chest hair, precious based on the novel Push by Sapphire. But like who actually likes red delicious apples? It's like taking a bite out of Ava Max. It's, there's, it looks good, but there's no substance. So this recipe is broken down into simple steps. So you'll need to use a melon baller. But if you're a normal person, you don't have one of those, you could just use a spoon or one of those like tinfoil heroin things. Natural and artificial flavors. Corn syrup, non-fat milk, high fructose corn syrup, plain, club, another club, another club, no sleep. So in the book, you can find recipes for apple brown betty, apple crumble, apple cheesecake, and apple bottom jeans boots with the fur. I was actually just thinking about where my love of maple syrup comes from. And I think it's because when I was eight, I had a crush on Mrs. Butterworth. So place eight pieces of cookie dough on a tray, space them apart. Or in the book, I say place only six. Well, I can go to hell. Oh wait, oh, let me just check what I said. Preheat oven. Oh. I think we got it. You're good. You can turn the camera off. You can cut the cameras. Cut the cameras. Dead ass. It's pretty good. You should try this. You wanna try it? Cheers. Bon appetit. Don't ever say that again. Welcome to the kitchen. <laughs>
Welcome to the kitch. Ah, Claire Saffitz, we've been expecting you. Just here in her kitchen, really. Um, yeah, soaking it all in, loving the vibe. <laughs> Thank you for watching the Claire Saffitz parody. Uh, so many people requested that I do Claire, formerly of the test kitchen, but we don't really talk, we won't really talk about that. Claire now does her own show. Uh, she's got her own channel called Dessert Person. If you've been living under a rock, then you don't know who she is, then I don't know what the deal is with that because she's everywhere. She was on, she went on Fallon, I think. Anyway, love Claire. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what the chances are that Claire's gonna see this and or appreciate it if she does. God, she's dry. My personal favorite thing about Kaya is that she has no qualms, great word, with telling whoever it is with her in the room that she don't want to do it. She's not going to do it. She doesn't care. Very, very me. So, uh, love you, Claire. If you've seen this, that was my love letter to you. So, she, I don't think Claire has Twitter. She doesn't have Twitter. But as per usual, here's my social media. There's going to be a small clip on Twitter and Instagram. She's got Instagram, so we can tag her on that at least, and maybe she'll see it. Maybe she'll see it. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But um, love you, Claire. Thanks for coming. If you've never been to our channel before, do have done a bunch of these. Which ones have we done? Oh God, there's been so many over the years. So if you like you, if you like people taking YouTubers down a peg, then stick around. So I suppose, you know, subscribe, all that stuff. And um, there'll be a message afterwards if you want to join the Patron. Speaking of, we've got some Patron birthdays. Michael, you joined after your birthday, but anyway, December 7th, it feels like it was not that long ago. So I'm going to give you the shout out and it's a happy birthday for Michael. Michael Ruiz, hope you had a lovely day. Uh, December 7th, uh, that was sort of the lead up to Christmas one. It went, it was all sort of starting to go a bit shit. Not that it wasn't horrendous by then anyway. Michael, I'm sorry. Your birthday shout out was terrible. Also Ryan W for December 29th, and then Elizabeth and Pablo for December 30th. Uh, thank you so much for being with us guys. And you've been with us for ages as well, some of you. Um, so I hope you all have lovely birthdays and uh, there was a sort of new year celebration of some kind. Uh, stick around 2021 guys. We've got some discussions over at the, at the Novimpia Patron at the moment regarding who we're gonna be parodying. Next, we've got some great names coming up. There's one in particular who people have been requesting for ages who we're finally gonna get around to doing it. But um, yeah, thank you for coming. Love that. Love you, Claire. Go follow Claire. Go watch Claire's stuff is better than this. I find you very rude. <laughs> The Novimbia Chanel is made possible by our gorgeous patrons who get early access, exclusive content, and buyer's remorse. And a Brad go f yourself to our brand new patrons, Ben C, Gavin and Sean, Jose DeLeon, Will Belshar, Michael Fearon, Johnny Can, Hilda, Chris Matthews, Carolyn Mercer, and Marina Bay. You know, one thing I've learned from COVID is that when you promise to make someone a tart titan, they really don't like it when you don't make it for them. Join the Patron, we'll do a shot of Patron.